All right, y'all, so what am I working on? Um, a lot. So my whole golf life, I had this really big lateral move, which I, I'm a promoter of and I believe in. Um, and I think because of my lower back disease, I developed early on this kind of protection move where I would get on the outside of my leg here to take some, almost like as a suspension, right? To take pressure off my back. And fortunately, you know, I was always able to kind of get back to that end step and then to be able to push. And so I never fixed it, never cared to fix it, never even really thought about it. Now that I've had surgery and I'm healing, and I'm, my leg is 100% fixed, there's no more numbing. You know, they fixed the nerve being, you know, permanently, you know, against my bone so I'm not numb. Um, now that my back, I would say I'm 65% of the end game, which is 100% healthy. Um, it's still hard to lean over, but for the most part, day-to-day -day stuff, it doesn't hurt. And so now that those things are gone, it's time to fix, it's time to fix these issues, all right? And so this is the day, the second day now of trying to teach myself how to still get lateral, but turn rather than get on the outside of my foot like this. I hate the way it feels because I've never thought about it before. And so, but if I can make my students get to work and grind and groove and I tell them reps, 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 I can do it, right? And so that's where we're at. We're trying to reach higher now that I can physically because I, you know, my prime, even my bad back, it, it wasn't so debilitating like it was this last, you know, seven, eight, nine, almost 10 years ago where I, I mean, I couldn't really get much to about here. So I couldn't reach, I couldn't go up. I used to be like Juju way up here, right? And so I kind of just, you know, when I had to demonstrate a shot, it was just, it was just all hands just ripping through. There was, my form was horrendous because I couldn't physically move. So I feel like I'm like reteaching myself how to swing a golf club properly for our golf swing. And so uh, today's been much better than the first day of the leg work. I still hate the way it feels, but I've hit a couple of really beautiful shots and we'll post those, but I want you to know what we're working on. So I'm actually doing it just as though I'm brand new, even though obviously I have the advantage of knowing what should be done. I'm still trying to do it like I'm brand new. So I'm trying to get to a good step one, trying to feel, I still want to have a little movement, but then I want to Make sure I'm turning rather than getting on the outside of my foot. And then I want to go up as high as I can. And then I'm trying to get more lateral and not hang back. I, you know, I developed this weird kind of hang back because I was afraid to use my... I would lift my left heel because I was afraid to put any pressure because I would fall down. Um, I fell down so many times the last 10 years because of my leg being numb. I was afraid to even put any weight on it. And so that's another thing, a major thing I have to fix. Um, that was developed because my back disease got so bad and what we realized my vertebrae was detached and I'm thank thank God we found that and they reattached it and so there's a plate holding it together and it's currently trying to grow back together and eventually it'll be maybe stronger than I've ever had it in my life um, and so it's just a lot that I have to do I have to learn and, and reteach myself right so we're here right we're trying to go up it's lateral you kind of hit a ball like that, right? Pretty darn straight. I think I cheated step two there. We'll look on camera. I might have cheated a little bit. That was a little heavy. It's about 20 yards short, 25 yards short of what it should be. Let's try it again. Good turn. Yeah, see, I didn't get his lateral on that one. Hung back a little bit and then it overdraws. 168 carry, just not flush, right? Closer ball speed though, 123, but too much side spin. It's still not getting lateral enough, I don't think, right? It's too high, right? It's just way too high. All right. Yeah, launch angle 23. That's closer to what my pitching wedge should be. All right. I got to get more left through the ball. I just got to trust it. Right. Big turn. Stay here. Up. Here we go. Oh, I can't believe that overturned. I hit that one so much better. 
Oh, I'm shocked actually. I ate that so good. I bet you I hung back if I look on camera. Yeah, it's way too much side spin. Right. Gonna release a little later and get more left. Big turn. That's better. Still too balloony though, you know? 120 ball speed into out nine, that's too much. And also 10,000 backspin, that's a lot, right? I gotta get, I gotta feel like I'm a mile ahead of it and get on this left knee and not fear it, right? I gotta go left earlier. Kind of hurt a little bit. Well, I didn't hit that nearly as good, and it went just as far because I got, I, I bet my launch angle was better. Yeah, 17. I towed that one though. It's still too much draw. It's a better ball, but. 170 carry. It's 10 yards short. Too much pass, a lot of backspin. Too much draw spin still. Yeah, see, I waited longer to release on that one. Didn't get as much left, but that ball carried 177 because I waited longer to release. 125 ball speed isn't that crazy i also looked back on that one right to make sure i'm right back i'm right back on it spun it around my body i hate the way this feels going up all right but i have i have to do it i have to Spend the next year learning how to swing a club again the right way, you know? It's just what needs to be done. Told the crap out of that. Saved it, but that's ugly. Might be getting a little tired physically. I'm trying to hit one a little easier. Focus on the motion more. Ah, I'm straighter. Hit it so heavy though. Uh, yeah, getting a little tired, I think. Probably a year away from being fully healthy. All right, so this is just—it's just hard. It's just hard, and that's all there is to it. I hate that. I can feel myself. I can feel myself doing this instead of clearing, getting on that left side strong, right? Such a protection move I've built in the last seven, eight years. Anytime I had to hit balls and demonstrate. I must be releasing a foot too early. So crazy because if I just swing at it, all right, I don't think about my legs and probably cheat my steps a bit, right? Like, I'm just never gonna hook it because we don't hook it. But all this stuff is so unique now, it used to be second nature. My body has developed this fear and this restrictedness, plus, I'm just not flexible yet. 
you know? Got lateral there, didn't hit it very good. But didn't hook. So impatient, I can feel the impatience. I hung back so bad. Literally I can feel this hang back. Cause I'm so afraid of putting weight on my left foot, on my left knee, cause I'm so scared. Because I fell so many times, so many thousands of times I fell, walk, just walking. It's, I have this fear. I have to break it. Let's hit one easy. Let's do a little half swing. Yeah, yeah. Go left. Cut it. It's exaggeration. I'd rather do that than snap hook it. Yeah, that had two yards of cut spin on it. Okay, let's do it again. Yeah, exaggerate. I don't, I'll slice it out of bounds to fix this hang back. I don't give two you know what. Always go to the other end of the spectrum to fix something. Always. Half swing is going to go almost as far as the full swing. He carried 165 on a half swing because I went lateral and I was more patient. Barely even swung at it. Ball had a quarter of a yard of cut spin on it. Get left, Brad. Damn it. That's fine. It's like seven feet left, but I'd rather cut it now. Too much draw spin. Too much. There we go. Waited on that one. See, that's a that's a good swing there. That's the one we're looking for. 165 half swing. I waited. I was patient. I was calm going up. Three yards of draw spin on it. Not even three yards. I hung back, got away with it, but I hung back. I can feel it. I can feel myself stopping. I can feel myself stopping. I can feel myself. Ah! Make sure I didn't freaking put that one. Okay, let's just butter a bunch in a row. Let's just butter a bunch in a row, guys. Let's just butter a bunch in a row. And then we'll see what those look like on camera. Yeah, let's hit a bunch of tiny ones like that. That's a 60% 9 or 165 carry. Let's just butter a bunch. In out one, two yards of draw spin. Let's just butter it. He's gonna stay home. Yeah, that's how we fix stuff. So look, if I can grind it out, I'm still hurting, I'm sore. If I can grind it out, if I can work on specific things that are hard, difficult to do, you can too, okay? If I've given you homework, do it. If your coach is giving you homework and you're just watching my channel, you don't even use our swing, do it if you believe in your coach, okay? Reps, reps, reps. It's how we break old habits or habits you've recently developed. Whatever the case may be, that's how we fix it. You guys have a great weekend. We'll talk to you later.